good afternoon all of you so today we are going to discuss about the indigo revolt indigo revolt so during that period during the uh, period of british rule indigo had uh, high price in the market okay indigo has high price in the market then what is the purpose of the indigo okay indigo is used for dyeing the dress materials or coloring the dress materials so during that period uh, the uh, product indigo had high demand and also uh, you know the industrial revolution okay you know the industrial revolution the industrial revolution which emerged in england during the 18th century okay so uh, the after effect of the industrial revolution is or uh, with the industrial revolution the textiles industry the textiles industry gathered a much momentum okay it gathered a much moment or a, uh, we can see that a tremendous increase in the textiles industry so automatically the demand for indigo is also increased okay uh, the uh, development in the textiles industry which lead to the demand in the uh, indigo product that's why uh, then the british industrialists they uh, to get indigo plantation spread to more regions in india so they want indigo they want uh, indigo in uh, in their uh, industries in their textiles industry okay that's why they need more indigo plants so they gave the indian farmers a good amount in advance they gave the indian farmers a uh, good amount or a high amount in advance okay in advance for what for um, cultivation of the indigo in farmers on land okay so it's a strategy the paying of amount in advance paying of amount in advance is a strategy used by the britishers uh, for what for cultivating the indigo in farmers land then the farmers in india they cultivated a major portion of their land as indigo instead of uh, food products they cultivated uh, their lands major share as indigo not food product because indigo has high price so uh, they think that the indigo farmers think that uh, <clears throat> this is a way to pay high amount of tax so uh, this seems that uh, this is a way for what for paying the tax amount for paying the tax amount so but during the period of its yielding period during the yielding period the indigo price were declined the price of the indigo was declined what's the reason uh they get the indigo farmers they get uh, very low price for their indigo during the harvesting period okay and uh, then the artificial colors then the artificial colors also introduced during that period that's why the indigo uh, the demand of the indigo uh, declined during that period so this led this led uh, the life of the uh indigo farmers uh, in very pathetic okay uh, the life of the uh, indigo farmers were very pathetic and miserable life then uh, on this situation in 1859 the farmers of bengal organized themselves and declared that they were giving up indigo cultivation so uh, they decided the indigo farmers this um, the indigo farmers in bengal they decided giving up the indigo cultivation give up means ubekshikya ini indigo cultivate cheyilla ennu avaru thirumanichu they attacked the indigo factories the indigo farmers they attacked the uh, indigo factories with the bow and arrow swords and spears so they attacked the indigo farmers they attacked the uh, indigo factories then uh, not only women 
not only sorry not only men but also women were also participated in this revolt okay the uh, women's participation can be seen in this indigo revolt then the rioters excommunicated the british supporters and those who worked for the british the rioters rioters means kalabakarigal they excommunicated the british supporters excommunicated bahishkirikya adayidu british kaarukku vendi work cheyunavareyum british kaare support cheyunavareyum endu cheydu ee parannittulla rioters kalabakarigal bahishkirichu then the revolt had strong effect on the government the government immediately appointed a commission to study the problem of indigo farmers so uh, the indigo revolt the indigo revolt become stronger and stronger okay day after day uh, or uh, once more uh, one once they passing it to become stronger and stronger so the government the british government appointed a commission the british government appointed a commission for what for studying the problem of the farmers for studying the problem of the indigo farmers and after the studying of the commission uh, they found that the indigo farming was uneconomic and they proposed to stop it so what they found uh, what they found uh, ലാഭകരമല്ലാത്തതിനാൽ നീലം കൃഷി അവസാനിപ്പിച്ചതാണ് എന്നാണ് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളത് സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും അങ്ങനെ തന്നെയല്ലേ നീലം അതിൻ്റെ ഹാർവസ്റ്റിംഗ് സീസണിൽ നീലം കർഷകർക്ക് എന്ത് കിട്ടിയില്ല പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചതിൻ്റെ പകുതി പോലും എമൗണ്ട് കിട്ടിയില്ല വളരെ കുച്ചമായിട്ടുള്ള എമൗണ്ടേ കിട്ടിയുള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇൻഡിഗോ ഫാമേഴ്സ് അവർ ആ കൃഷി അവസാനിപ്പിച്ചത് അപ്പോൾ അത് തന്നെയാണ് ഈ കമ്മീഷനും ഇവിടെ കണ്ടെത്തിയിട്ടുള്ളത് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് indigo revolt then next one there are some peasants revolt also took place in kerala so many other peasants uh, revolt so many peasants revolts also took place in kerala so first one mappula revolt i think all of you heard about mappula revolt okay so during that period during that period the britishers they treat uh, they uh, treated the janmis as the owners of the land the farmers they are not the owners of uh, the british government they considered that uh, only the janmis uh, were the owners of the land not the uh, farmers so uh, the original owners uh, was the farmers but british government considered only the janmis were the owners of the land then the revolt was against the atrocities of landlords so the mapler revolt that took place against the atrocities of the landlords or janmis അപ്പം ജന്മിമാർക്കെതിരെയായിട്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഭൂടമകൾക്കെതിരെ അവിടുത്തെ കർഷകർ നടത്തിയിട്ടുള്ള റിവോൾട്ടാണ് മാപ്പിള റിവോൾട്ട് സോ സച്ച് അട്രോസിറ്റീസ് വെർ ക്യാരീഡ് ഔട്ട് വിത്ത് ദ സപ്പോർട്ട് ഓഫ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് സോ സച്ച് അട്രോസിറ്റീസ് അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള അടിച്ചമർത്തലുകൾ ആരുടെ സപ്പോർട്ടോട് കൂടിയിട്ടാണ് ഈ ലാൻഡ് ലോഡ്സ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് വിത്ത് ദ സപ്പോർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ബ്രിട്ടീഷേഴ്സ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷേഴ്സിൻ്റെ സപ്പോർട്ടോട് കൂടിയിട്ട് തന്നെയാണ് ഇവർ ഈ കർഷകരെ ഇത്തരത്തിൽ ദ്രോഹിച്ചു കൊണ്ടേയിരുന്നിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ഫാമേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സൗത്ത് മലബാർ വേൾഡ് ടെനൻസ് ഹു കൾട്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ദി ലാൻഡ് ഒബ്റ്റൈൻഡ് ഓൺ ലീസ് ഫ്രം ലാൻഡ് ലോഡ്സ് സോ ദേ ആർ ദി ടെനൻസ് ദേ ആർ ദി ടെനൻസ് ഹൗ ദേ കൾട്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ദേ cultivated the land obtain on lease from landlords landlords inde kayil ninn lease ne kadathine allengil paattathine bhoomi kadathine vaangiittu adil krushi cheyyunna aalukal aayirunnu pinne ee parannittulla kerlathile south bhagathulla pinne karshagiri most of the tenants were mappilas so this struggle happened in 19th century known as mapla rebellion so uh, 
why it is called as mapla revolt because uh, most of the tenants most of the tenants kudian mar uh, most of the tenants were uh, uh, were maplas that's why it is called as the uh, mapla revolt okay so this mapla revolt is against for the atrocities of the landlords clear so there are around 22 percent revolt took place in malabar area there are there were uh, around 22 percent revolt took place only in malabar to suppress this revolt british raised a special armed police battalion named msp malabar special police to suppress this rebellion or to suppress this revolt uh, the british government appointed a police or police sena ya thanne niyamichu aa police sena ede per endane malabar special police then to enquire about the frequent revolt and to enquire or to study about this revolt the uh, british government appointed a commission what is that william logan commission okay william logan commission is the commission appointed by the british government for study in the malabar revolt or the what are the reasons behind the malabar revolt so the commission found that the commission pointed that the unfair land revenue system of british was the cause so the major reason or the most important reason of this revolt was the unfair land revenue system adayidu seriyallatha reethiyilulla land revenue system aanu itterathilulla kalabangalu potti porappadunnadine kaaranamayidu ennaanu parnittullathu okay so this is mapilla revolt then why is the peasant revolt in the british malabar region considered as mapla revolt why it is considered as mapla revolt that is most of the tenants in malabar world maplas muslims okay most of the tenants most of the tenants were considered as the maplas so peasant revolt in malabar world also known as mapla revolt okay i think you all of you got this points okay so mapla revolt mapla revolt is uh, took place against the atrocities of the landlords okay so these atrocities these atrocities are with the support of the british government then uh, around 22 percent struggle or around 22 percent revolt took place in malabar area then for what for the atrocities of the landlords then for suppressing this revolt for suppressing this revolt uh, the british government appointed a special police battalion uh, that is known as msp malabar special police and for enquire about or for studying about the reason of this revolt they appointed a special commission that is logan commission then the logan commission pointed out that or it is it is found that the unfair land revenue system is the major reason for this revolt okay next we are going to discuss about the tribal revolt there are several tribal revolts took place in different parts of india some uh, tribal struggles also took place in kerala also in wayanad okay so first one sandal revolt sandal revolt sandal is a tribe inhabiting the valleys of rajmahal hills in the present bengal jharkhand and bihar so sandal sandal is a special uh, group of tribal group or it's a kind of tribal group where they live uh, they live or they inhabit in the valleys of rajmahal hills 
അപ്പോൾ ഇന്നത്തെ ബംഗാളിലും ജാർഖണ്ഡിലും ബീഹാറിലൊക്കെ വ്യാപിച്ചു കിടക്കുന്ന രാജ്മഹൽ കുന്നുകൾ കുന്നുകളുടെ താഴ്വരങ്ങളിൽ താമസിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്ന ട്രൈബൽ ഗ്രൂപ്പായിരുന്നു സാന്ത so we already know the features of the or the lifestyle of the tribal groups if it may be any tribal group we know that le avarude life engine irikkum kaadugalil kayriittu kaadugalil thanne thamasikka avadnu kittuna bhakshanangal kalichittu naadumayittu oru bandham illatha aalukal irikkum mari ee paranjittulla tribal groups but what happened here they lived closely with the nature and earned a living by farming and collecting forest produce their life was disturbed with the british rule so here uh, the tribal groups tribal groups uh, were also the uh, they also the victims of the britishers okay the uh, tribal groups we know the lifestyle of the tribal groups they uh, cultivated as they need and they are collecting forest product they are uh, very close with the nature but the forest laws the uh, the british government they introduced the forest law which uh, which disturbed the life of the tribal groups zamindar and money lenders captured their lands the zamindars zamindars and uh, landlords they captured the land of the tribal groups that 